How to use Moonbeam-based lending platform. Go to lending.beamswap.io Connect to the network with MetaMask, Wallet Connect, Coinbase Wallet, and confirm the connection. Before using the service, you should first supply tokens to the network, the easiest way is, again, via your wallet. Supply liquidity and withdraw assets. After connecting your wallet, the interface will show you details about the network, your wallet balance, supply and borrow balances, net APY, etc. On your first visit, you will see a blank dashboard with empty balances. Of course, this will change as soon as you start using its features. The net APY rate, displayed in the middle is the difference between the APY you earn for supplying tokens to the network and the APY you pay for the loans taken. So if you should earn more interest from your supplies than you should pay for borrowed assets, the net APY will be positive and negative if your borrowed assets exceed your supplies. To deposit assets for liquidity and withdraw them, go to the Supply Markets section. The supported tokens come with information on their APY and their balance in your wallet, only counting the tokens that are not locked in other obligations are collateralized for borrowing. To supply a token, click on it, approve the transaction in MetaMask, and complete the deposit. You can withdraw your supplied assets at any time. To do so, simply repeat the process above, but this time, in the pop-up window, change to Withdraw tab and input the amount you want to take out. Exclamation mark note, if you supplied your tokens to be used as collateral for a loan, you won't be able to withdraw the full amount right away. Borrow funds On BeamSwap Lending Network, you can also supply liquidity as collateral for a loan. You can borrow any type of asset listed, as long as you supply some of your own assets as collateral first. In the Supply Markets section on the left, go to the token you wish to use as collateral, and simply enable this feature using a toggle bar next to it. Once you supply liquidity tokens and enable them as collateral, you can borrow more tokens against the asset. Now, go to the Borrow Market section on the right, click the token you wish to borrow, and enter details in the pop-up that appears on the screen. Input the amount of tokens you want to borrow or simply go with 75% of the limit. This safety feature prevents you from borrowing above your asset limit and reduces liquidation risk, we strongly advise you to use it. You can pay back your borrowed assets at any time. To repay an outstanding loan, fully or partially, go to the Markets page, and click on the relevant token in the Borrow Markets section. Under the Repay tab, choose the amount to repay, and pay off the loan plus accumulated interest. There are a couple of things to note when it comes to borrowing. Borrowing is enabled by over-collateralization. In simple terms, before you take a loan, the provided collateral must be of a higher value. So, how much can you borrow with a given amount of a collateral asset? Multiply the asset by its collateral factor. The factors for every supported asset are listed under the Markets tab. Loans on the BeamSwap Lending Network grow their interest rate over time by compounding accumulated interest with each network block. Therefore, to close your borrowing position, you will need to repay more tokens than you borrowed in the first place. You should always pay attention to your liquidation limit. If you borrow more than the liquidation potential of the amount supplied, up to 50% of your position can be liquidated. Make sure you account for volatility by keeping a margin. Beamswap. DeFi Hub on Moonbeam